some people may know, we were funded initially as part of Hormel Foods as their research and development component. And then we developed into our own freestanding research institute within the University of Minnesota. This is our 80th anniversary starting this year. Uh, we started off doing a lot of work in food and food products and, and chemicals and preventive compounds that you find in foods. And over the years, we've, we've moved more into the direction of towards that intersection with cancer and now much more broadly into cancer research. One of the main things that sets us apart are the people here. I feel like we have some of the best and brightest and we're really focused on helping the individual advance in their career, helping everybody to feel very supportive and excited about being here um, in the Institute. And it provides a place for people to be creative together in the research and in the work that they're doing. One of the things I like about working at the Hormel Institute is our size. We're in one building. It's a world-class building, but we can interact with our colleagues very easily. It really gives us a personal way to, to interact and collaborate. That drives our science faster, and I think it's really good for us to know and interact with how different departments work so that we can work together to make sure that we're attaining our goals. Having the access to the right tools and technologies is extremely important for scientific progress and excellence in, in the field. And access to the technologies here was helpful tremendously. It really enabled me to expand the scope of my work uh, through building uh, collaborations and through going after really risky ideas and through really exploring the topic at much deeper level. Being able to secure major NIH funding is the, the big accomplishment, and that was really largely facilitated by an outstanding research environment here at the Institute and access to many different tools and instruments and technologies and resources that are available here in support of the work that we do. This particular microscope is sort of the centerpiece of the so-called resolution uh, revolution. Uh, what that means is that um, several hardware and software advances have made it possible now to see the building blocks of life at near atomic to atomic resolutions. I think it's very unique to have an instrument like this at a small institute uh, that is supportive of their younger faculty members. So uh, it's very difficult to get access to these scopes at other institutions, uh, especially for junior uh, faculty members. So for me, that was a tremendous pull and pulled me from uh, Zurich, Switzerland to here. There's a tremendous amount of community support, uh, so it's, uh, it's uh, obvious how uh, people take pride in the Institute and the work being done here and how the, the Institute scientists are treated by the community, I think, is, uh, is tremendously unique. The way that we see the community that we live in is we're part of it and it's part of us. We felt that we didn't just want to be an ivory tower that everybody drove past uh, and wondered what was inside. We really felt that we live and we work in this community, we're part of this community, and we wanted to be more than just something that people wondered what happened within the walls. We wanted to share what we do with them and bring them in and, and, and take our message out to them. We do outreaches with the schools in Austin, uh, both the public schools and Pacelli. Um, we're moving into more schools in, in Greater Mauer County, uh, which is really our, our area now and then we're gonna to begin to move more regionally um, as we expand. We also do outreach to community organizations and that centers around a lot of fundraising. In particular, Paint the Town Pink, which has been here for more than 10 years. It's been a really successful program um, raising money for cancer research. And I liken it to almost a winter carnival. It's really a great community event. It brings people together and it brings them together with a focus on raising much needed funds for our research. The community that we're, we're in here at Austin, Minnesota is amazing. They've been incredibly supportive um, throughout the years of the Institute, and we, we want to give back to that and so that we're finding lots of exciting ways to interact with the community and really be a strong partner with them. A major goal for us certainly is to become more involved in the community and uh, an active partner in science education um, in the Midwest, um, not only just our, our immediate community, but Midwest wide. I think that there's an important piece of, of that puzzle that we can contribute to in sharing the research that we do here and why it's so important for the whole world and our health and our ways of living. So I think that that's something that we will be really focused on in addition to the different research advancements that we make. We expanded 
quite recently, in the last few years physically. So we have some beautiful new space that's not yet been filled. We hope to come close to doubling in size in terms of our research labs and, and the researchers within them. We intend to recruit some of the best in the country here. And if you haven't heard of us before, you soon will. <laughs>